What is up, everyone? It's Ricky Five Cents here, returning a chance today, February 20, 2023, and we're gonna hop on and do a quick market watch. So I just got back from YCS Vegas a couple of hours ago. I got settled in, I took a shower, and I put all my stuff away, and I started to update my inventory because I did sell some stuff over the weekend, and I also picked up a couple things too. And I noticed that some of these cards are going up in price, and I want to talk about those. We kind of expected some of the cards that um, I'm gonna be talking about to go up in price because uh, of the format switch and everything. Uh, and some of these cards you probably saw being featured in some of the feature messages if you guys were tuned into the YCS um, sh live stream. Uh, so one of the first cards we're going to be talking about is Small World. So Small World is one of those texts that Castillo uh, is using this format to try to like search a starter or like unbreak their hand. And um, these were sitting around like three to four dollars a couple weeks ago and are now starting to reach that 630, 630, 632, 650, 675. Uh, and almost seven dollars on the second page. We have the original version as well that we're sitting like under five dollars. These are starting to reach the ten dollar mark, twelve dollar mark on the first page. Twelve dollars uh, with shipping. So yeah, keep keep an eye out for this card. I still think these are a good pickup at like five to six dollars, uh, because they could search basically anything. If your deck um has like a variety of like you know different um stat lines. Uh, attributes and um, levels this could basically search out anything in the deck and cashiers are using it so yeah keep an, keep an eye out on this card next card we'll be talking about is great keepers encryption so I actually saw this card like reach that seven dollar price point last week and now it's starting to go back up hitting that eleven dollar thirteen dollars uh, thirteen dollars with shipping fourteen dollars uh, like almost 14 to 15 dollars on the first page and this was a card that was like dropping in to like that seven dollar price point because people thought it was going to be that good this format since tears got hit but it's actually pretty good against buy steals because buy steals do banish cards from their graveyard so if you have a deck that you don't need uh, to banish cards from your graveyard uh, you could actually side this in against buy steals and prevent them from banishing cards from their graveyard uh, Bicycles is a popular deck this format. I'm not sure if you guys saw the YCS uh, champion team championship event this this weekend, uh, but Bicycles were one of the top decks along with Labyrinth and Castiro, of course. So yeah, keep in mind that Encryption could be a good side deck card this format, even though tiers aren't aren't meta anymore. Because uh, I I didn't see any tiers that uh, this weekend. I I I played like five matches and none of my teammates. Face, uh, face tears and I didn't face tears as well. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you went and you saw tears being played, but I didn't see any. Uh, but yeah, encryption, Gravekeeper's encryption going up in price. Next set of cards we're gonna be talking about is the Bicycle. So starting off with Bicycle Lobelion. So we already knew Lobelion was going up because we did take a look at it a couple of weeks ago, or a couple. Of, what was it like last week? I think. Uh, it's at 85, 86, 87, 87, 88 with shipping. So we'll call it like between 85 to 90 dollars. Um, but yeah, it's it's expected because you know Bicycle is branded Bicycle Despia is one of the top decks of the format right now. Uh, Bicycle Magnamoot. Uh, these were like around 17 dollars, and are now starting to hit that 15 dollar mark, 16 dollars. So they're kind of going a little bit lower. Uh, Tears, like I said, aren't really a threat this format, and so we kind of expected the buy seals to kind of go down since they're not going to be used too much, unless you're running like an actual buy seal deck, then you're going to be running them. Uh, Jewel Swarm actually took a big dive. These were almost at fifteen dollars a couple of weeks ago, and yeah, they're at eight dollars now. So yeah, people are lowering, lowering the price on on Jewel Swarm right now. And then we have Saranir actually. He's actually up in price. Uh, so Saranir is one of those uh, monsters that the Buy Steel branded deck does use to like dump. Um, I, I forgot what it was. Is it Branded Fusion or like a trap card that lets you add Branded Fusion or something like that? Let me know down in the comments if you played the Buy Steel deck. Uh, but yeah, these were like around like these were like the cheapest Buy Steels, uh, like under a dollar a couple months ago, and now they're starting to hit that five dollar mark. And yeah, we have like five dollars. On a second page as well so yeah five dollars on uh buy steel certain here so if you bought some of these like under a dollar you're winning right now so evenly match has a super rare printing coming uh, out in a couple weeks uh so i didn't want to talk about it too much but it is one of those texts that you guys want to pick up 
uh, Zeke Seeker Rare is actually going kind of low on listings. It's under 23 listings, and we do see the chart like going up a little bit. Uh, these are around, these are the 2018 Mega 10 uh, Seeker Rares, and these are at 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. So 20 on the first page, and then they start going higher on the second page. So yeah, just keep that in mind right there. Uh, we have Super Rares. Well, we have the Super coming out in the Trap Trick Structure Deck, but we do also have Ultra Rare versions if you guys want to pick those up, which are kind of cheap still. They're like under $10. Uh, now we have the original one. Uh, let's see what that's at. Moderately, moderately, heavily, moderately, limit, lightly played unlimited starting at 25 Let's see what first edition is at. Moderately first edition. Okay, so we have a like a lightly played first edition at 33 uh, But yeah, this is one of those cards you want to have this format. Uh, for my budget players, wait for the Trap Trick stru Structure deck uh, in order to pick yours up. I'm actually buying three of these so I could downgrade mine and sell these off. But I think these could go up even higher later on. Um, this is one of those formats where you either um, draw it out or you can't play because they're going to lock out your zones or they're going to lock out your monster zones. So you want to even the playing field and even matches a great card uh, to even the playing field. So keep that in mind. Forbidden Lance, I actually saw a lot of Kesher builds tech in this format. Um, and at the event, a lot of builds were using it. So the super rares are starting to hit. Let's see what damage, damage, heavily played, moderately played, heavily played, heavily played damage. Mm, near okay we hit our first near min at 18 uh basically 19 dollars and then 23 dollars 30 dollars 31 dollars 36 dollars and then going up to 40 dollars for the super rares then we have the platinum rare which i actually think is the higher rarity because it's pretty unique i like platinum rare uh these are starting to hit that 15 dollar mark for lightly played 15 16 and going up to 20 20 20 20 25 dollars on a first page we do have other versions like commons and gold rares for my budget players but yeah just keep in mind forbidden last is one of those texts that cash tiers are probably going to be maining um you're probably going to see this this being main in cash tier builds more often because it does dodge cards like imperm and book of eclipse uh to protect the shangri-la so yeah keep an eye on forbidden lands they might go even higher Nibiru is actually one of those texts that we mentioned that is good against Kashtira, and it looks like it's starting to go up. All copies are starting to go up. Looks like the Ultra Rares are starting to reach that $5 mark here. $450, $450, $450, $460. Yeah, like $5 uh, for the Ultra Rares. Then we have the Gold Rares. I should actually... Yeah, I should actually bought some of these. Uh, but these are at like $6, $636, uh, $669, and $699. So almost $7 on the first page for the Gold Rares. And then we have the Prismatic Secrets from the 2019 10s. These are starting to hit that $8, $9 mark on the first page. And we have the Brothers of Legend Secret Rares. These are starting to hit that $10 mark on the first page. $10, $10, $10, uh, $10, $11 on the first page. Wow, that's crazy. And I actually regret not buying these because I saw a play set at like 120 each um, a couple weeks ago. And I missed out. They're now at 170 for the OTs. 170, 173, 180, 180. Uh, yeah, I missed out on that one. But yeah, uh, just uh, keep in mind that Nibiru is going up. It's probably like the best handshake in the format because no one really respects it. Uh, Cash Chira doesn't put up any negates. Unless you're playing like the Brave Engine, and or I saw this this build actually that I went against playing um, a Virtual Reward Engine where they bring out Gossip Shadow and use that to negate Nibiru. Uh, so unless the Cash Hero build is playing like some version that has a negate before Nibiru, then you should be okay with using Nibiru. But I definitely think Nibiru is like the best hand trap in the format, and unless this gets a reprint, it's gonna keep going up right now for this format. So I would pick some copies up right now if you don't have any yet. We have a couple printings of Ash Blossoms already, so I'm not going to, you know, recommend one in particular to buy out. But, uh, yeah, Ash Blossom is really good this format, so if you guys don't have one, I would pick some up. Uh, I guess the Structure Deck one is great value because you do get an evenly match with, with the Structure Deck along with the Ash Blossom. So for my budget players, if you go if you don't have evenly match or Ash Blossom, just pick up a Structure Deck and you can pick and get both of those cards. 
uh, for anyone else, I would just, you know, pick up any other copy that you could afford in your budget. Because As Blossom is, is back. We're, we don't have to worry about She Do Tears uh, constantly milling in this format. So Ash Blossom is safe to play. And it's a really good hand trap against, like, branded Bicyo Despios. If you ask their branded Fusion, they're kind of put in the hard position to build a board. And I think against Castero, it works good as well. So pick up your Ash Blossoms. Book of Eclipse. I think everyone in the room was running Book of Eclipse either in the main or the side this format. So if you guys haven't picked yours up yet, uh, definitely pick up your copies of Book of Eclipse because it's like the best card to add the Castero board. The Ultra Rares are still under like $3, which is pretty cheap. So I would pick those up if you are looking for like a high rarity Book of Eclipse. There's a Super Rare, but I still think Ultra Rare is the higher rarity. Let me know down in the comments which one you guys think is the higher rarity. But for my budget players, comments, 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 and rares are available for you guys as well. But yeah, pick up your copies to, for this format to go against Cash Tears. I didn't really expect Labyrinth to do that well, but it looks like they were one of the most represented decks in the top cut uh, at YCS Vegas. And it looks like Welcome Labyrinth has gone up even higher. These are starting to, these are at 23 listings. And are starting to reach that $46, $47 with shipping, $48 with shipping, reaching that $50 price point. These were at $30 a couple weeks ago, then at $40, and are now at $50 for uh, Welcome Labyrinth. That is crazy. And let's see what else went up. We have Ariana as well. Ariana. Damn. Ariana is reaching that $40 mark, $50 mark, $50, $50, $50, dollars for Ariana on and only 11 listings on the first page. Wow. All right, next, next, let's look. Lady Labyrinth. Lady Labyrinth is at 27, 27, 27, 30, basically almost reaching that $30 mark. So we, we'll call that 28. So almost at $30. And this was a card that was sitting under seven, under $10. Uh, a couple months ago, Ariana, I remember picking some up at like five to six dollars, and I didn't buy any of these. But yeah, these are all going up in price. Let's look at Lovely. I don't think they run too many of these. I think this is like a one of, uh, but it looks like it's starting to go up as well. It's starting to hit that five dollar price point, and then the new one from um, Photon Hypernova, it's still at ten dollars, eleven dollars. $11, $12. Uh, so this one's actually still pretty cheap. I would definitely cop some of these if you can around like $10 because I definitely could see this following the other cards hitting that like $20 to $20 mark at least. But yeah, Labyrinth cards are getting expensive. They were, like I said, one of the top uh, decks that were represented in the top tables at YCS Vegas. So yeah, it's no, it's no, no surprise that they have went up. So after the ban list, we saw Blazing Cartesia go up in price, and we kind of knew it was going to go up a little bit up from that. But uh, after this YCS Vegas weekend, it looks like Blazing Cartesia went up even like way further. It's now reaching that $45 mark, uh, $47, $49, and $50 on the first page. We only have 22 listings available on Blazing Cartesia, so let me know what your thoughts are on this card. Uh, it is one of the top decks of the format. But let me know if you guys think this card will keep going up in price, stay at the same price, or go down. I think you only play like one or two of these, so I'm not really sure how I feel about this card. But let me know down in the comments how you feel. So I saw a couple people tagging Fusion Deployment and their branded by Steel Despio builds to uh, show Blazing Cartesia. Well, no, to show Dust Dragon and get Blazing Cartesia out to the field. Uh, so Fusion Deployment, I remember, was sitting under like $2 a couple weeks ago. They're starting to go up. Uh, but they're still kind of cheap. They're at like $3. Uh, so I definitely would recommend picking some of these up if you want a higher rarity fusion deployment. Uh, these are a secret. We have the Ultra Rares from Attorney Code reaching. Uh, let's see. They did go up as well. They're reaching $7, $7, $8, $12.50. We have an $18 listing on the first. How many listings do we have? Of these? We only have 11 listings of the Attorney Code Ultra Rare version. But I definitely would think... The Prismatic Secret is the higher rarity, so go with that one. Uh, we have Super Rare for my budget players if you guys don't want to spend $3 on this. So 
uh, yeah, we have the super rares, ultra rares, prismatic. Definitely pick up prismatic if you are looking to play fusion deployment this format. Mitsu the Insect Ninja was like at two dollars a couple months ago. And then last week we saw it reach that five dollar price point. Uh, today we're seeing it at like eight dollars and nineteen cents, eight twenty, eight twenty four, eight something. I, I can't math right now. It's like one in the morning. But yeah, it's almost reaching that nine dollar price point. Uh, but I think this price increase is due to the fact that we saw Jesse Cotton in a feature match and he was playing ninjas. So that might have incentivized people to start playing ninjas. But let me know what you guys think. I honestly don't really see ninjas as being too competitive this format. But I might be wrong and uh, people might start, you know, finding ways of uh, making this deck, you know, meta relevant or something. But let me know your thoughts. And the last card on today's market watch is Destructive Dharma Karma Cannon from Darkwing Blast. So these were sitting around like three to four dollars, and um, right now they're starting to reach that six, seven dollars, seven thirty nine, seven fifty, uh, seven fifty four, seven ninety eight dollars. So they almost doubled in price. Uh, so the only deck I think I could see playing this is a uh, Labyrinth. So let me know in, down in the comments if you saw any Labyrinth builds teching. This is format. I actually always thought this was a pretty good card, but I didn't think it was going to see play so soon. Uh, but I think Labyrinth is probably teching this. But yeah, if you guys saw this on a feature match, let me know. But that's going to be it for today's market watch. I'm going to be working on the vlog we did this weekend for YCS Vegas so you guys can see our experience. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, go follow us on Twitter. Instagram and TikTok at Return of the Chance. This is Ricky Five Sand Two, and we'll see you guys next time.